Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to Seed Sunday. Seed Sunday is a weekly series around on my channel where I show you Seeds Minecraft console edition, which are particularly interesting and worth checking out somewhere. And this week's seed is one, on a Sunday for the first time in a while, but two, a really amazing seed because it has four savannah villages, that's right, four of the new type of village, but also has access to a desert temple right next to spawn, also has three other villages, so that's seven total villages and a desert temple all on the same seed, but as well as that, it's an amazing place to find fossils because so much of the seed is desert, and I even have access to one fossil coordinate which is found in the same ravine as the end portal. That's right, absolutely crazy seed, and I'm going to be showing you around it in today's video. Hopefully you all do enjoy this week's Seed Sunday. If you do, like the video, let me know, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like these sorts of insane seeds, and uh, yeah, obviously the more likes I see, then the more people want to see stuff like that. That's, that's kind of how the rating system works on YouTube. Don't know if you know that. But yeah, with that said, let's get straight into this video already, shall we? And let's start with the first thing uh, that you need to know about any seed, which is going to be the thing you uh, the actual thing itself. So it's Toy Fat 4. It's going to be on screen right now. It's like Toy Cat, but fat, so like picture of Fat Cat, I guess. But yeah, it's Toy Fat 4 that's on screen right now. And if you type that in, you'll spawn just over here, either with a, you know, kind of like an ocean on one side or a savannah biome on the other. So the really cool thing about the spawn on this particular seed is you have access to both a lava pool, you know, a really, really cool one too, um, on one side, and you have access to water right next to it, which makes it amazing if you want to race to the never or if you want to, you know, go to the end or anything like that. You can do stuff pretty easily. So yeah, really nice that you have lava and water. But also, as you probably already spotted, there's also a desert temple very close by too. So this desert temple generates at the very, like, edge of the desert into a river, which is really weird to look at. Uh, but it's not just significant because the outside, it's significant because obviously if you go in there now, you're going to find yourself some nice loot. So obviously uh, I removed the fresh plate so I didn't make a mistake. But obviously you're going to find yourself a bunch of emeralds. You might find yourself a nice enchanted book or like, uh, you know, like uh, uh, apples or like golden apples. Just all the cool stuff you can now find in desert temples. And there's even more of it because of the most recent update. So yeah, really cool stuff. You've got your spawn, your lava, your water, and then a desert temple just within 100 blocks of spawn. If you head even further to the west or the, to the east, I guess it'd be than that, you're going to find yourself over here. So this is a really cool place because it's a savannah village, which means bright orange, just amazing look. I love the way these villages look, and this is just the first of four on this seed. But yeah, this one's really cool because it's kind of glitched in a couple of ways. First of all, as you can see here, uh, the, the you know above the planter here, you just can see there's like some trees cut off, which is kind of weird. And second of all, you can see that where it's meant to switch back to sandstone pathways, it switches to gravel. So just in case you're the one person out there that was disappointed, they removed uh, gravels from villages, then good news, they have, uh, you know, you've got a village of gravel. Yay, so exciting. But uh, yeah, if that's not to your interest, then maybe what is, is the fact that this village does also contain beetroots. They're, uh, they, they're a new item from the new update again, and they're only found from villages. So you need to have one of these, and you can get one from your very first village. So that's pretty nice if you ask me, but this is just the first of several villages, so we're going to have to kind of speed through them all uh, again. But each of these are their own kind of fully featured things again, uh, because the second one is found just over here. So this is just north of the spawn, so if you head like over the mountain, you get here, or you can go the kind of weird diagonal route I took, and uh, the coordinates are just over here. So this village is really cool because it's a desert village and uh, has a lot of planters, even though it's on uneven ground. So as you can see, it's like a really weird up-down village with a lot of like caves that go straight from the paths, which is always interesting in my opinion. Also, as well as a bunch of caves, uh, this has access to what is going to be uh, the end portal slash the, uh, you know, the fossil, which I'll get to later. And it's just a really cool place because it's close to spawn, has a bunch of food, and has access to all the trades you'll need. But in case you want to look for more, uh, you know, savannah villages because they're your colorful thing. Oh, by the way, pumpkin just over here. Handy little thing. But yeah, uh, in case that's what you're looking for more importantly then you'll pass by a village over here which has a blacksmith chest which you, you need to take anyway by the way because um if you actually look inside the blacksmith chest because they have changed these two you're gonna find more stuff than normal so free obsidian some iron leggings and some iron sword and this is actually a pretty bare blacksmith chest compa and compared to what you can find elsewhere even on this single seed so as well as that of course if you head to the south of this one you'll find yourself the fourth village already that's right we've done a small circle around spawn but we're already on our fourth village this one's pretty cool again because it's relatively large it goes right into a giant like crater down here so you know no pathway just straight town which i think it's i think that's pretty cool at the, at the very least and yeah just another strikingly cool village i love the way you know these things look and it's going to take me a while before i get bored of them another uh, rather interesting glitch is the same gravel thing happened here and also the fact that the well has mushrooms on it no idea why how exactly what that's going on there but there are mushrooms on the well because why not right and again it's just really nice that this place is different and it's a new way to experience the village which you kind of needed before but now there's a little bit cooler look even the doors are acacia you can see through them which is lovely. So, yeah, in case, um, you know, this is uh, just another stop on your village tour, you might want to head all the way to the very far east-west of the map over here, because you'll find another village just over here. So this is the third of the Savannah villages, and this one's a bit of a bummer, because it's like, oh, it's just the one villager 
and his like carrots and potatoes and the tiniest bridge that looks like it's going somewhere. I mean, if you expanded the world, this would be a cool way to like expand a village, but for now it's just like a really lonely village in the very corner that I'm impressed even generated as a full village at all. So yeah, there's something to be said for that, I guess, and it's interesting to see the acacia pathways at least. And yeah, that's the uh, third village found just over here. If you head further up the north of the map, just like this, you're gonna find yourself eventually, well, again, there's the village over there again, uh, but eventually, oh, yeah, that's the same village. But if you find, if you head all the way up the same kind of side of the map, you'll uh, you'll lead yourself into the fourth of the Savannah villages. So. Again, just looking at these things makes you go, oh, that's so nice. But this one in particular is really cool because it has so much floating pathway. I think, in fact, almost the whole village is just on, you know, bridges. And uh, again, it means it's even more orange, even cooler to look at. And because this one goes literally to the edge, like th this is the e uh, this is the well, this is the edge of the map. Um, that means that you're kind of safer. You only have to protect the village from one angle or one particular corner. And I think the fact that, uh, you know, a lot of it is done that way is pretty cool. So if you want a unique acacia village, which, by the way, again, I, I just love the way these things generate, then uh, you can find one at these corners just over here. Again, it's very, very far away from spawn, but it is kind of interesting. And uh, also, this is very close by to another village, the final village, I believe, which is the seventh village just over here, which, again, is it's unique because it's on a hill again. It's unique because it has a blacksmith chest, which contains a lot of cool stuff you're gonna like this one because looking inside the chest reveals that you don't just have access to one diamond or two diamonds you get three diamonds but you also get access to more iron leggings i don't know why it's always leggings but you also get access to pickaxes uh, uh sorry pickaxe uh, iron helmets apples and a bunch of iron so iron am uh, i'm iron diamonds apples and an iron pickaxe really really cool stuff if you ask me and uh, if you move on forward further forward from this uh then you'll find that there's a well right next to this too which uh, i know it's it's a small thing but wells are still very very rare and finding one so close to the village is just like oh that's a nice little bit of rarity to add to my rarity. So, yeah, if you like rarity on your rarity on your rarity, then this, this seed's got you covered, I guess. So, uh, yeah, and with that said, that is the village kind of tour done. Again, there's a, there's more uh, land to check out if you're interested. Like, you can follow this whole thing along. And I think this right here is probably the best place if you're looking for fossils, because there's just so much land. There will be a fossil down here somewhere. I haven't found it yet, but I'm sure that's a fun little challenge for someone to bark upon. And if you check the comments, someone's already probably even said like, oh yeah, I found fossils at these corners. So, yeah, giant desert here. So, if you ever wanted to search for fossils and, you know, you find that on most seeds, because it seems like uh, deserts just generate really tiny, then maybe this is the place for you. Check down these little uh, crevices, and maybe you'll find yourself some fossils. So yeah, giant uh, desert, which is cool for finding fossils. But as well as that, like I said, most of the rest of the seed is not quite, uh, you know, so diverse as you might think. It's just like desert into savanna, into a tiny bit of plains, into more desert. And although I really like these seeds for one particular thing, it means that you do have to go to, you know, far corners to look for, you know, basic stuff like just a normal forest and stuff like that. But again, I, I think there is some interesting stuff we found here, including, again, like another secret feature here like oh look it's the trees that generate in plains biomes but yeah uh, you get a little roof forest just over here which I think is nice and uh, that's about it as far as your diversity goes like you don't get any uh, you know cold biomes so you don't do anything like that but what you do get is a lot of you know just the same and a lot of uh, you know access to deserts for a lot of access to fossils but if you want to find specific fossil coordinates which is something I think is pretty important then let's head over to here to the things I said earlier because here is where the fossil is found so yeah if you head just over to here as uh, like I mentioned earlier and then dig down at these corners you're going to find yourself at the end portal. So this is a pretty cool place by itself because, again, you, you want to go to the end sometimes, I'm sure. But assuming that's not your motive, you want to fly out or if you're in here, then you can explore your way out there. But uh, basically, what you might want to go to instead is, is this corner over here. So, if you mine down from these corners, or not exactly these, but let's say roughly these corners, minus 25, 1, uh, then the really cool thing about this is you'll find yourself right on top of a fossil. So, yeah, let's drink the night vision potion, and let's show you this ravine right here, because it's one of the most amazing ravines I've seen in some time, because it's not just a single ravine, it's it's a double ravine too, by the way, like a ravine crosses through a ravine. Um, one of the ravines actually has access to this, you know, the library, the end... Um, stronghold uh, by the way that goes through the whole thing and uh, it's just a really cool place in general and uh, this other one over here actually has a, uh, has like a full kind of link into the f uh, a fossil so yeah fossils are incredibly rare to find a lot of people haven't found one yet if, if you're in that situation then here is a pair or like a set of ribs that is spawned in a ravine it's really cool because it's such a challenge to excavate them if you just want bone blocks this is a nice way to get that but if you want a little bit of uh, you know fun excavation thing then here's a great thing to do because that's what i really love about fossils the fact that it is like a little choose your own like you know what you do of them thing you can 
take them just for the the coal alone or you can go in there and uh, you know like take the whole thing whatever you decide to do this is a fossil just over here again found in the exact same place as the stronghold which is so nuts to me the the fact that you find uh you know finding one of these in a ravine in the first place like crossing over it is pretty rare but finding it in the same ravine as the stronghold is very very crazy uh, even beyond that so obviously this goes all the way down to diamond layer so if you wanted to search the rest of this you probably could and just in general this has been a pretty cool seed for a lot of uh, a lot of reasons and I hope you did all enjoy it again very insane seed let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below like that if you did like it because it helps out the channel a lot let's know you do like these sorts of seeds share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here uh, I think it'll be a while before we see another seven village seed with you know a desert temple and access to cool stuff like this but um you know I'm always gonna be searching and I am still searching by the way for a free igloo seed or a 10 village seed they're the two dreams I'm currently hoping for so if you have any information on that please let me know and if you want to search for it yourself just try and include soy cat somewhere in the seed so I know you did search for it yourself and uh, I'd be very appreciative of that so yeah that said I hope you did all enjoy this week's seed Sunday um and I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, check out my twitter at ibx toy cat or my facebook page uh, facebook.com slash ibx toy cat I've been reading or at least, uh, yeah reading or responding to or responding or reading to every single message on that facebook page so just in case you've ever wanted to ask something and for some reason it needs to be private I, I don't know why but yeah that's what the facebook is currently for I guess and uh, uh yeah that's everything you need to know I'll see you all tomorrow for another video goodbye Thank you.